So hello everybody, I'm Andmore Central and welcome to um, another exciting video. We've not had that many event videos this year. I think the last one I did was just after Cornwall. I can't remember, oh no, it was Fenland, that's the one. I think the last one I did was Fenland. Um, we've not had that many bus events this year, um, so it's quite nice we're filming one of these. It is currently July 2023, um, and as you saw, we came in on ex Yorkshire Traction and um, County Bus. Um, 245 that is quite literally chugging its way behind us into a parking spot so what we're going to be doing in this video is just like we did last year we are at the south yorkshire transport trust um, tr summer 2023 event we're gonna have a little wander around i'll show you what's going off here we'll go on the lovely ride on some buses and i'll take you around the entire event whether you're here and you see yourself um on the vlog or um you weren't able to attend and you want to see what the crack was and um, this will be the video for you just to note and um, this is a usually the summer event is the busiest one um, and the biggest one that they do however due to a few ongoing projects that weren't finished in time um, this is sort of going to be at the smaller event that they used to do during the autumn they've swapped them around so this is a lower key event it's still gonna be really really good there's still about 20 visiting vehicles attending so it's still going to be really, really good, um, but it's it's advertised as a slightly lower key, slightly smaller event than what's going to be there in October. So if you like what you see in this video, then make sure you are here in October. There were details at the end of this video where there's going to be even more projects and exciting things unveiled. For now, though, we're going to have a little wander around. I'll show you some of the buses and then we'll hopefully jump on a bus. We'll do a little bit of a trip round and then we'll go and have a look inside the museum itself. So just like with any um, shed, um, any trust, any museum, anything like that, the vehicles do constantly change. You get your regulars, um, like P915RYO, that I believe is more the control bus today. You've got this new edition, K236MAP, um, that is, as you can see, X stagecoach from the interior. It's currently undergoing a longer term restoration um, back into its former glory. As you can see, it's being used by as a community bus in more recent um, times. It's also got the um, notice of this bus will not be used in service that I feel um, is a rather semi-semi-obvious thing um, with two-thirds of the seats missing. So we've got the immaculate um, 31787, the lovely steam engine there with Sarah. And if we move down here, and um, we've got a few more vehicles on display. This is a mix of visiting vehicles and vehicles that currently reside in the shed. This Western National Law Decker is from the South Yorkshire Transport Museum around the corner. Got a few other bits like towing wagons or tram wagons, things like that. So there we go, so this is a Dennis Dominator um, of Kent origin, um, owned by my friend George, undergoing a heavy restoration. And then as we move down, got a nice lovely RE from the Jews of Bus Museum that's visiting, lovely Resident 43, looking absolutely immaculate um, in its red and white livery. And as we move further down, you can see a few more bits and bobs down here. Um, the Resident School Bus, for example, um, that is used for local community and predominantly University of Sheffield related events is quite an iconic vehicle as that the interior on it um, is quite cool as it's all been refurbished inside you've got this bus here that is going to be featuring in a brand new series very very soon i'm not going to say 
too much more on that at this exact moment in time um, note the cover panel at the back that's safe to say we have started it's the sign that we've started restoration on it i've started restoration on it you've got from the t side 500 group um, number 223 a volvo olympian northern counties palatine that was repainted not so long ago into the old transit livery that was cleveland transit um prior to it sort of being stagecoach um t side stagecoach Cleveland Transit and what it was. 687 again from the um, South Yorkshire Transport Museum and if we have a little look around here it's 2533 an ex um, city bus Belfast Bristol RE and again another tremendous motor. So while it's just starting to we're going to go for a little ride out in a bus in the form of Dennis Dominator 2120 because when you're in South Yorkshire you've got to go on a Dennis Dominator. Thank you very much. Hello Alex. Hey, oh. Just finished on the uh, um, W. We'll most likely bring this to the uh, He's going to listen to Ravenfield. Yeah, say. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Joe. <laughs> So this is the new wall that's been done, one of the unveilings for this event. Um, basically all the little panels and bits and bobs that have been hiding around the shed have been put up um, to present. It looks really, really cool. It isn't finished yet. There are still some bits to add, um, but so far it is looking absolutely phenomenal. Basically a, a collage um, of the last 40 odd years um, of South Yorkshire buses. Looks really, really cool. Um, and hopefully with a few more bits and bobs added, it'll look even better. Um, in the near future. So this is one of the new additions. It's looking very, very bare at the moment, but we're saved from scrap. Isles Coaches 859, a Leyland Titan. Um, I believe one of its last operators, or it was, it was mid operator as you can see, um, was Isles Coaches. It's served with other operators since then, um, and it was it was saved from scrap by the SYTT group. Um, parts were donated off another Titan that went to scrap in its place, um, and hopefully this one very, very soon will be fully restored using the parts off the previous Titan and that was here for spares and will be restored to its lovely blue and cream owls coaches colours.
This is lovely Halifax 10 that we're going to take just round the corner and to the second bus park and then we'll have a walk back. There we go, so that was Halifax 10, one of the many vehicles that's going to be attending the Halifax bus day um, 2023. So I love the love of the motor, um, as you could hear, um, and definitely one to look out for back in its hometown of Halifax in September. So here we are at this bus park, I'm here, this is where they park some of the extra vehicles that can't necessarily fit in um, in the other section. As you can see, it's a nice variety of um, semi-modern vehicles. So we've got the lovely X Trent 696 FN 04 HSF. The lovely, um, all branded up now, but looks very, very nice. Um, old Rossendale Easy Ride 464 um, SPD. Doncaster 33 alongside um, X First York 40572. Lovely B6BLE. Moving around here, as you can see, um, with some bus timetable booklets on as well you've got yj 57 xwv a lovely opta versa very very nice motor it's just been rebranded in parts looks really really nice and um, predominantly used on schools but it is it does also do the occasional work and routes out the 353 um between barnsley and home for sort of busier runs a very very nice re here from the stroud re group um jmw169p Another RE, this time from the Air Valley Transport Group and also provided in partnership with the White Rose Bus Group. Lovely 1403, I had a ride to that to Morecambe one year and many, many years ago. And then in the corner, one of the more recent repaints into red at TM Travel Timothy's is 834. Used to be a Line 30 orange um, Versa, but I must say it does look quite nice in red. No, I've got... So there we go, so this will be our final bus ride um, of the day. Lovely Leyland Olympian 658. There will be a Lynx here that's doing a short working. So there we go, so that's the end of that. So I'll pass you into the studio for a little bit of a sum up of the buses we've been on. So to sum up this video and an excellent day as usual at the South Yorkshire Transport Trust. Many buses running around, many exciting vehicles to go on, many familiar faces. It was excellent to see all of you that I did, all the self-taking, all the having a chat about buses. I know bits and bobs, it's always lovely to meet you all. Um, and it was really, really nice once again at this event. With a lot of lovely buses and I, as per usual, spent a bit too much money on little bits of old bus memorabilia. So, if you are wanting and you have enjoyed this video and you are wanting to visit the South Yorkshire Transport Trust, um, it is an excellent day out, it's worth visiting. The next event is going to be Mainline 30, so celebrating 30 years since the um, sort of formation properly of Mainline. Mainline was the operator in South Yorkshire after South Yorkshire PTE and SYT um, and followed on to become Mainline and then First Bus, so first in South Yorkshire.
This event is going to be on Sunday, the 22nd of October 2023. The link is on the screen. If you just sytt.org.uk, you'll find all the event information there. It will be the main event of the year. There's going to be hopefully a few big vehicle launches, all being well um, time permitting. Um, and there's going to be quite a lot of visiting vehicles and a few extra stuff being launched alongside what was done for this event. So I do recommend visiting it. Do go and check out the website um, or look on social media for further details. For now though, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Anmore Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the um, real life bus industry um, with all my visits to museums, open days um, and um, other bits and bobs on the channel that we do. You can also go and check out my other channel and more bus videos for the simulation section as well as an archive of over 5,000 backseated engine focused public transport videos from the UK and beyond. If you enjoy your preserved vehicles, there's quite a lot there in the preserved archives. For now though, I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye!